Hello and welcome to Pure and True Essentials. In today's video, we will be seeing how to handle potassium hydroxide. Although the rules for working with potassium hydroxide are similar to working with sodium hydroxide, it is important to understand and recognize the difference. You may be familiar with sodium hydroxide, which is used to make solid coal process soap. But today, we will cover potassium hydroxide, which is used exclusively in liquid soap. Potassium hydroxide is a type of lye specifically used to make liquid soap. It is also known as potash, lye or even KOH. Potassium hydroxide attracts moisture, so be sure to keep it in a sealed container in a cool dry place. When handling potassium hydroxide, give it the same safety consideration as you would with sodium hydroxide. Being educated about safe handling practices is key when handling potassium hydroxide. I am also linking the sodium hydroxide handling video in the description box below. Go through it for a safety refresher. Even though making liquid soap is different than making bar soap, it is still vitally important that you use the correct amount of lye in your recipe. There are so many lye calculators which makes it easy and allows you to select liquid soap as an option and calculate the amount of KOH you need in your recipe. As with any other type of lye, potassium hydroxide will emit some fumes, so be sure to soap in a well-ventilated area. Always add your lye to your water and never the other way around. Adding water to lye can cause a volcanic like reaction. As you can see in the picture, it looks like flakes or sometimes it's also a lumpy solid. When working with lye water, wear goggles that protect your eyes from all sides. Always wear gloves. Pair your gloves with long sleeve because the less exposed skin you have, the better. Finally, use a heat safe container to hold your lye water and use silicone or stainless steel tool to stir. Do not use wood utensils or spatulas. Never use aluminum utensils to make soap or mix lye. And finally, never leave your lye water unattended or in a place where children's or pets may come in contact with it. Once all the potash flakes are dissolved, we are ready to add this lye water into our oils. Unlike sodium hydroxide lye water, we don't have to wait for the temperature to go down. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe and also visit my other social media platforms. I will see you next time with another soaping video. Until then, bye!